In this video, I'm going to talk about how we can solve the bisection method problems from the chapter Numerical Analysis and Computer Program, which is very useful for Mathematics Paper 2 um, optional uh, in the UPSC CSE examination. Now, uh, trust me, this is very extremely easy to solve and a calculator can, you know, you can just solve in a few seconds if you have a calculator in your hand. So, uh, before I move on to how the process, let me just quickly explain how this method, how, how problems are solved for uh, using this method because uh, you might have forgotten that. So, uh, usually we are given a function f of x and we have to find the value of x for which f of x is equal to 0 approximately. So, basically we have to find the root of this function. We are also given an initial guess or we have to assume an initial guess x0 and x1 such that f of x0 and f of x1 have different signs. Okay, so uh, what we need to calculate for this is x0, x1 we already know. We also calculate x1 plus x2, sorry, x0 plus x1 by 2. And we calculate f of x0, f of x1 and f of x0 plus x1 by 2. Now if f of x0 and f of x0 plus x1 by 2 have the same sign then x0 for the next iteration becomes x0 plus x1 by 2 else x1 becomes x0 plus x1 by 2 for the next iteration and we continue this until we reach the uh, termination condition whatever that is maybe up to certain decimal places or a certain error or something now the best way to solve this would be uh, to teach you how to use a calculator for this would be to use a to, to use a direct problem so uh, the question is to use bisection method to solve uh, the root of this polynomial between x is equal to 2 and x is equal to 4 so how we start is that we take the we press the menu button of the calculator and we go to the uh, table table uh, mode right so here they are asking us for an f of x so uh, we enter the f of x so x cube minus 9x plus 1 press enter uh, g of x we do not need anything here so we just leave it blank and this we can just write anything here so we get so what this table gives us is that for for x is equal to 1 the value of f of x is minus 7 for 2 it's minus 9 and so on and now in our table we make the following columns so x0 x1 f of x0 f of x1 x0 plus x1 by 2 and f of x0 plus x1 by 2 okay now we need to start with x is equal to 2 and x is equal to 4. So, x0 is 2 and x1 is 4. And we enter the same in our calculator. So, for x is equal to, sorry, for x is equal to 2, f of x is minus 9. And for x is equal to 4, f of x is 29. x0 plus x1 by 2 would be? 2 plus 4 divided by 2 which is 3 and the value of f of x for 3 is 1 right now f of x0 plus x1 by 2 and f of x0 have different signs so x1 becomes 1 now so we get 1 2 uh, sorry 3 x1 becomes 3 Right, because x0 plus x1 by 2 is 3. Now, uh, x0 is 2, x1 is 3, f of x0 is minus 9 again, f of x1 is 1, x1 plus x2 by 2, let's calculate that. So, that would be 2 plus 3 divided by 2, which is minus 5.875. So, we write that 2.5 minus 5. 875. Now, 
f of x0 and f of x0 plus x1 by 2 have the same sign. So, x0 becomes x0 plus x1 by 2. So, 2.53. Now, let's calculate. I'll just enter the f of x0 and those values also. So, minus 5.875 and uh, f of x1 is remains 1. So, 2.5 plus 3 divided by 2. So that becomes 2.75 and f of x becomes minus 2.953. Now uh, f of x0 plus x1 by 2 has the same sign as f of x0. So x0 becomes 2.75, x1 becomes, x1 remains as 3, f of x0 is minus 5 point, sorry, f of x0 is now minus 2.953 f of x1 is 1 and now let's calculate f of x1 plus x2 by 2 again so that becomes 2.75 plus um, 3 divided by 2 which is so 2.875 and minus 1.111 now again the same thing, so this becomes 2.875, 3, 1.111, f of x1 remains as 1. Now let's calculate f of x1 plus f of x2 by 2. So 2.875 plus 3 divided by 2, which is 2.9. 375 and the error is minus 0 0.09. So uh, I guess we can stop our iterations here or we can continue it further because the method is pretty simple. If you want to continue it further, we see that it's the uh, f of x0 plus x1 by 2 is negative. So it has the same sign as f of x0. So uh, next it will be, this will become 2.93753 3, and so on. I think for this question we can do we, we, we might stop here so after the five iteration so if you want you can create a num uh, column number iteration and that becomes one two three four five so after five iterations we see that the root is 2.875 that's our answer so bisection method is very easy to do with the calculator and uh, I think we need not write the way it's written in the IMS notes that okay iteration one and then something and then we can just make a table like this and that will make sense to the examiner. So that's how I used to do it in the exam and I thought I think it works. So this is uh, the bisection method. Thank you.